Hello students, in this video we will be learning about the disadvantages of a management information system. So the first disadvantage of an MIS is the cost factor that is involved. Since MIS are costly to purchase, they are expensive, they are costly to implement and they also require investment for the training of employees and the hiring of expert advisors that can help an organization to use the MIS in the correct way. So the expensiveness is one disadvantage that is a associated with the buying or the implementation of an MIS in an organization. The second disadvantage is the reduction in job hiring. Since an MIS automates the processes that are running in an organization, it might lead to removal or firing of employees and removal of good talent, human resources from an organization. So an organization might think that an MIS is a replacement to many people uh, who have been uh, associated with the organization or to whom we have to pay the salaries. But not in all the scenarios, good human resources should be replaced uh, when MIS is hired because ultimately we need people who can interpret, analyze the information that is given by the MIS in the correct way to take the decisions for the organization. The third disadvantage or con of an MIS is that it can become a single point of failure. It means that when the MIS stops working or it becomes uh, or it is facing certain technical issues, then the entire organization's work can get affected. For example, if the MIS or the software running in a bank does not work, then the entire bank activities come to a halt. So it is a single point that if fails it can le lead to a lot of wastage of time resources and money of the organization the next disadvantage is that there comes a risk associated with the confidentiality of crucial company data when that data is fed into the MIS. So if the management information system gets compromised, affected, hacked, or it can be attacked in any manner, either by the employee of the company or an outside hacker, then confidential information of the company can be leaked. And in that scenario, the organization will have to suffer. The next disadvantage is that the assessment or evaluation of the MIS is limited to qualitative data. Now what does that mean is that the MIS can evaluate factors that are numeric in nature. For example, if there is a human resource management information system, then it can evaluate the performance of an employee based on what output he has given in the organization, how much time he has worked, how many leaves he has taken. But the morals, the attitude, the behavior of the employee is not taken into consideration. These are the factors that still have to be considered by the management or the managers of the organization in addition to the information that is given by the MIS. So somewhere or the other, the qualitative uh, data, the Rather, this point should be that the MIS is uh, related to quantitative data and it is it does not take into consideration the qualitative aspects. Okay, so you can correct this point. It does the MIS does not take into consideration the qualitative aspects, the quality of a person, the quality of any particular scenario, but only the quantity value, the numeric aspects that can be assessed in some form or the other. And the last disadvantage of an MIS is that it requires continuous maintenance. See, if you are using a technological tech, tech savvy MIS, then you have to update and upgrade it from time to time. You need to put in the correct data, updated data into it from time to time. So it is not that once you have bought the MIS and you're done for years. No, you have to work on the maintenance of the MIS so that it keeps on giving you the correct information and for that you need to keep upgrading it to keep feeding it the correct data and updating its features. So these were the disadvantages of the MIS. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.